Hey guys, TNT here. Uh, had a question on my RC guys about a guy who keep burning up his main gears on his East guy. I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your mesh. Um, some of us older guys in the hobby is you know we call it backlash, which essentially is just a little bit of free play in that main gear versus your pinion gear. Um, this is my old Honeybee King Two. Uh, this is the, act the actual helicopter I cut my teeth on. But I'm going to show you a few tricks of setting up your mesh to where you get it right. Um, here you have your motor. Sometimes these motor pinions that come on the East Sky motors will be very sharp. One thing you may want to do is just take some 120, 150 grit sandpaper and just lightly, very lightly, run around that pinion a few times. Just enough to get the, you know, the sharpness off a little bit. Okay, that's the first thing you do. Now, this, this motor setup for the mesh works on any E Sky. Uh, it works on the honeybees, the fixed pitches, I mean, anything that's got a gear on it, the 900s and everything. Um, as you can see on the King 2, you can remove the bottom frame. And now we will install a motor real fast, which just takes merely seconds. Now, this one here is a non working helicopter, but I figured I'd have it up for the demo. Um, the motor mounts from the top. To get your screws in, you just remove your bottom frame. You'll have two holes that match and two holes that do not match because they are offset just a little bit on these. And let me see if I can find those two that match real quick. And that looks like that's it. Now we'll take a screw, magnetic screwdriver tip. Let's see if I can grab that on here. May have to get my lovely other half over here to. Help me load that screw. Now I got that one. Let's just go ahead and add this screw in. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to put this screw down in place. Now you want to run the screws in. You don't want them tight. You want them just sitting down. Now that I've got a free hand, I can get the other screw in there. Add that screw into its mounting hole as such. Now here's the question that the guy had. He says, "How how can I keep burning up my main gear?" Um, he's getting larger. This main gear is, I believe, only the second one I've ever had in this helicopter, and I bought this in 2009, and it's now 2015. So I've had it from, I've had it just about coming up on six years, I think. But, you know, a lot of people will set their mesh up and say, okay, that's good. Well, that's not good. They will mesh that gear together and say, okay, that is fine. I like that. Well, that's not the proper way to set up East Sky. Once you have the motor in and you're able to slide that motor back and forth in its carrier, the trick is you need a piece of paper. Regular notebook paper, nothing fancy. Um, you want just a little shim to go in between there. So you just cut you off a strip like so. We'll need the rest of the paper. The scissors away here. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to run that paper up between your main gear and your pin. Just like that. Now, can you see that real well? Mm hmm. Okay, now once that's set in there, you're just going to push the motor up against it, hold a slight pressure up against your pinion. You're going to snug each screw tighter until it just stops turning, like so. Now that motor's not going to move, and then you run that gear out. Now, your mesh is properly set in that gear. It's just that simple. What you're looking for is when you hold that motor and you turn this main gear against the pinion, you want to feel just a slight, slight tick in it. Now right now I'm just slightly out of adjustment. So we're going to do this again because I think it got in there too tight somehow. So I'm going to pull the motor back. I'm going to take another piece of paper. Try not to use the same one, but if you can, you know, just flatten it out. Again, we're going to run it back up in there. 
just like that. We're going to get that up on it, and we're just going to hold that against it. You're not going to pull pressure. You're just going to hold it up against that gear. You want it to turn very easy with that paper in there. And you screw it down. Snug that one up. Run your paper back out and hold your motor again. And you should feel a very, very, I mean, you're not even going to see it on the video, but you'll feel a very, very slight tick back and forth on that gear. And that's exactly what you want. You want just that little bit of free play in there, and that's called backlash. Um, if the pinion gear sits too tight into the main gear, it can actually chew out part of the main gear from the backside. If it's sitting too loose, it can actually strip off the outside. And right there you go. Now once you're satisfied with the backlash, then you just go ahead and tighten your motor on down. Now this should help you keep from burning out your main gears. Now as I hold that, and just take my thumb and move back and forth in that main gear, you can probably even hear if I put it up close to the camera. You may have turned the volume up for that, but there's a very, very slight, slight bit of play in there, and that's exactly what you were looking for. So there you go. That's how you set up your mesh. And then, of course, you, know, you put your frame back together. Um, this is TNT. Happy flying.